Hey everyone, thank you for joining me. So today I will be customizing the Hinderer Knives Jurassic 3.5. Now this was sent in by support of the channel, so I just wanted to give a quick shout out to Ethan. And thank you for sending this in to get some work done to it. As you guys can see it only has one scale, since it is a frame lock knife. And that's what I will be customizing on it. I'm not going to talk too much about the knife since I did do a first impressions or first look at this knife since I never handled one but I'll leave a link up to that video if you guys haven't seen it already but I talk a little bit more about it. The changes I'm going to be doing on this is just the show side scale or just the only scale that it has with some G Carta. This is the blue gradient from G Carta. It's a little rough right now since it isn't finished but this is what I'm going to be using and I have two slabs as you can see so Ethan was wanting to have one that was a nice smooth scale and then another one that has a little bit of texture. So I'm going to see what I can do texture wise since I don't have a milling machine but I think I can do something by hand or with the Dremel. So we'll see what happens with that and we're going to take it apart really quick and I don't have to take the whole thing apart which is really nice since I only need the scale to actually get my three holes and just the shape of the scales or the new scale onto the G Carta. So let's take this thing apart and see what we got going on on the inside. All right, so here it is all taken apart and this is basically all I need. Very simple scale, so to make my job very easy and, or easier, <laughs> but you do have the Hinderer logo there. So that's pretty cool. Wasn't expecting that. Nice little touch. Uh, that's something I'm going to have to look into. Maybe maybe I'll start uh, signing my work as well underneath, but we'll see. There's the scale, and then this is writing on the skiff bearings that Ethan installed. So really, really smooth. And then I noticed with the, the pivot collar, it goes all the way through, but it's a hollow pivot collar, which I really like. I kind of like that look. It looks really, really interesting. We have a really long screw, but that is not an issue. It works. It functions just different and unique. So with it taken apart, let's get to customizing it.
All right, so both scales are finished. And as you guys saw in the video, I made one just with a flat face finish to it with the finger choils, basically copied the original. And then on the other one, Ethan wanted a little bit of texture on the other one. So as you guys can see, I did the scalloped texture. I think it turned out really, really good. You just get kind of a different take on it. It feels really good in the hand, but that's pretty much it. Let's let's get this thing put together and see what both uh, both options look like. So I'll start with the flat version first. So here it is with the flat version and it turned out really really good super happy with it Made sure to keep it the same thickness and has a good feeling in hand which it should So yeah, it feels very comfortable and now this knife has grown on me. So I Still not my cup of tea, but it is actually a really really nice knife um, It's actually gotten smoother since I've been taking it apart and putting it back together just to make sure these scales are all good, but there it is. Let me know what you guys think down below of how this thing turned out. And I think the blue theme really, really goes well on this knife. And that G-Carta is just gorgeous, gorgeous material. So now that I have this put together, let's, let's throw on the textured one and see what that looks like on here. And of course, with the power of editing, I will have this one on in just a second. And here is the textured scale. Which I think I think it looks a little bit better than the flat version just because it has a little bit more going on and Kind of makes that design pop just a little more in that G Carta and As always let me know down below what you guys think always appreciate your guys's input and Yeah, again, very very happy with the outcome and that blue just looked really good against everything else That's blue so really cool choice that Ethan chose to get done to this knife Maybe in the future I'll get a hinderer or maybe that fixed blade that I really want from hinderer, but this is, it's actually, it's actually not too bad. That action has really, really grown on me, but uh, we'll see what happens here in the future. But there is the hinderer Jurassic 3.5 with G Carta scales. Thank you for watching you guys. I really appreciate your support and I will see you guys on the next one.